Hey, you're watching Preppy Kitchen, where I, John Cannell, teach you how to make delicious homemade dishes to share with your family and friends. But not today. Today's totally different. The house is a bit of a train wreck, but we're getting it together. It's coming together, people. So I wanted to show you what's happening behind the scenes. My friend Susanna is an amazing designer, and she's helping us out. She actually has one of my favorite YouTube channels ever. It's called Quintessence. They do crazy home tours with interior designers, and Brian and I have binge-watched hours of it. I'm so happy and excited to get started. Let's go. Susanna. Hey, John. Does it look different? Oh my gosh. Every <laughs> week I come here and there's something. Now it's like completely painted white. Now it's white. Now it we looks have white fantastic. House, except for the front door. Right. So what's that going to be? It's going to be hunter green, like English racing green. Nice. Well, I like it. Okay. Well. I want to see what else yeah, they Come on doing. inside. Watch yeah. the sets. We're like literally just pouring it now. <laughs> So when we first met Susanna, she gave us homework. some homework to do, which I love. And Brian and I separately tabbed beautiful photos that we liked in some of your beautiful books, including The Power of Pattern. Thank you. That's what they're there for, to yeah. create a kind of dream folder and to see where you hopefully arrive mm -hmm. if there was a couple of images that you both loved. Yeah, so we both loved lots of images, but when we came together, this was the one that we were like, oh my gosh, this is our dream dining room. Let's see what elements we can take and kind of make it happen. And it provided a structure for us because it's so overwhelming. It's an infinite, obviously there's infinite choices that yeah. you can do. And we both talked about wanting just to land on something that made mm -hmm. you both happy, that we can just decide and just move forward and yeah. hit the ground running because you want to have a home that you yeah. love. And so how can we translate the spirit of this, it's never a direct translation. No. It's never plagiarism. It's no. taking this and being inspired and making it happen for you guys. Mm -hmm. This wallpaper is stunning, but it's also hand painted, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> These people didn't have two year old toys, right. John, so, let's face it. So, I want to have like the kids in here and not worry if like, you know, anything happens with thrown food, which, you know, is which a reality. Which definitely could happen. Here. Yes. So this you can just wipe down and not really worry about it. What I think is so important is sometimes you'll look at things online or yeah. in books and it's still yeah. not the same the as having it here. The colors can look totally different. Totally. And like we, I know we were sort of drawn to this uh, idea of the wallpaper kind of the design hanging down, but yeah. ultimately that felt a little too tropical. We're not in California anymore. We're not in California anymore, John. We're in Connecticut. This is really pretty, the pomegranate. I liked that. Yes, I love that. You know, this bird feels more about here versus the parrots or right. the toucans. Now, we talked about maybe going a metallic ice blue, but now that I'm looking at this, it feels a little cold. So cold. Yeah. Oh, I love I love the names of these metallic champagne. Yeah. I want to drink this. I want the champagne I version of this I should have had some champagne wallpaper. out for you. The cool thing about this is it just peels right off. So the sample, we can take okay, a look. Okay, we can see. It's like a giant, beautiful sticker. And let's just, for the heck of it, just to confirm our suspicions, I can't do this. Yeah. Do the metallic ice blue. Okay, I'm so loving this already, I can't even tell you. I like the warmth, so it's reflecting light, and we're gonna have a brass chandelier in here, but- Oh, that's gonna look yummy. It's still, oh my gosh. I need to up my sticker game. You know, even though immediately we're drawn to the metallic champagne, so important that you guys come back here at all different times of day and see how it looks right. in the morning, at golden hour, in the even evening, in the evening yeah. with the light on, my instinct is for sure metallic champagne. I'm really drawn towards the champagne. This is pretty yeah. too, but Not for it's here. cool. Yeah, Maybe it's for cool. a powder room or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, this is really exciting. So let's order these up. We're gonna do a chair railing here with some panel work below. Do you wanna see that? Yes, I totally do. Okay. And I think that's a good idea because Wallpaper in here from floor to ceiling is mm -hmm. going to be overkill. I like the idea yeah. of it being broken up with more layers or texture. Layers are key. So we're going to have a molding piece like this is one of our possibilities. Great. Think about 36 inches up, maybe 38. Okay. And then we're going to do some raised panel work below that. So it'll have like a lot of nice little texture moments and uh, you'll have a beautiful wallpaper above it, but it'll be more precious because it's not all over. And I think you need to be careful, we've talked about this initially, about not doing overkill mm -hmm. on that paneling. Have it be some texture right. and detail, but not being too, we don't want it to distract. One this of the is... things I think is really cool, what you guys are kind of thinking outside uh -huh. of the box, is going with a lavender 
colored yeah. velvet curtain. I love the velvet idea because it's so it kind of like absorbs the light and reflects it and makes it seem more cozy almost. And our suspicions were correct. This isn't going to work. We right. don't like these dots. So I don't know if you can see on camera, but this has um, an interesting like little dimple pattern, like little polka dots almost, which adds some more interest, but it's not the interest I like. Right. It's like a band-aid. It this is. is not oh my good. gosh. I'm like expanded. It, like, it's like, a, if, yeah. you know what? Sometimes it's important to confirm mm -hmm. what you don't want yeah. as much as what you do want. And because I could have liked this. Yes, person. and then we would have been good to go. Yeah, I would have never known. Okay, so now I need some help on the chairs. Let me show you the chairs though. We loved these chairs. Like they had a whole moment, like when we got them, yeah. like, you know, years ago and they moved with us from New York to LA. They don't work anymore. They are gonna make the room look crazy. So what can we do? Well, it's interesting because I love the yin yang of mm -hmm. modern and vintage or like a vintage chinoiserie wallpaper. Exactly. <laughs> but when you have two things together that uh -huh. are like minded, it's like at a dinner party yeah. sitting to the same type of person next to each other. So we're keeping this table because we'll right. never get it out of here. So the chairs are going to go. And I'm mm -hmm. thinking, because I know you and Brian like traditional, yeah. something that has more traditional European lines, um, you know, upholstered with a nice kind of maybe yeah. gray linen. Mm. Can you help me find something more appropriate for the room slash that I'll fall in love with? <laughs> Let's do it. What is really fun about this is that we can kind of start with our basic. Here's a shape. You do. Uh -huh. you have, what do you think about this? I like a square back. Yeah, it's got a nice square back. This is the Louis, uh, the 16th side chair okay. for today. And as you can see, this is the base cream fabric. We're going to pick the, it's fun because we can click uh -huh. and then just see how this fabric would look or this fabric. But first we need to pick the finish. What I'm thinking is that that black finish is too strong in here. It's going to overwhelm. So what do you think of this one, this is distressed gray over white. I actually so love that. I do too. And that's going to look really pretty with the white mm -hmm. marble of this table, with our grays and our creams. Yeah. It's not going to be um, too strong in here. Now, for the fun part, let's find you a fabric that you like. Okay, so cream fabric be gone. No, 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 no. All no right. cream fabric. <laughs> no cream fabrics for here. And no velvets. No velvets. Okay, right, because we are doing a velvet curtain that's yeah. too like-minded. Are you? I had talked before about kind of a gray linen, but let's just for fun, just to make sure that we don't want to print in here. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you're kind of drawn to? I actually kind of like both of these patterns. Okay. So this is fun. This is kind of reminiscent of the Shinrazeri yeah. situation with birds and flowers. Similar. It's also kind of like breakfast roomy, very it's, like light and bright. I I feel like it's going to be too competitive. Again, I don't worry about things being too matchy and mm -hmm. I like it to be kind of fearless, Yeah. but this just isn't quite right. Let's just do one more pattern just to confirm our suspicions. Do you agree with me that this is just maybe overkill? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so now let's find our nice solid. Let's go gray and see what we can find on that. Okay, so this is a gray linen. Here we go. Ooh, oh my God. this is really lightly. nice. That is beautiful. It's got some guts to it. Mm. I really like this. Okay, and I think it looks wonderful with that finish. And you know what I do? I know this seems so weird and random, but it actually works. Go put like it up this. against the wallpaper. Yeah, let's put it up against our wallpaper. See, I think that looks great. Oh my gosh. Now, okay, let's go a little. Crazy here with it. Let me help you. Let's do the next step. Okay. <laughs> oh, I... Okay. It seems so ad hoc, but it actually is super helpful to see the world of what you're creating here in the layers. Pretty great, right? Do you right? see how pretty that is? <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. I feel like we have a plan now. We have a plan. We have a call to action. We're going to make this dining room happen. All right, I'm going to call you when the chairs arrive and you can like take a look. Call me when everything arrives. Okay, I'm so everything. excited to put it up and see what happens. Thank you so much. Thank you, John. Bye -bye. I'll see you soon. See you soon. It's soon. going to be great. I promise. Bye. Bye. Welcome to my new dining room. I'm so excited to give you a little tour and to be able to sit down at the table with my new chairs. Hello. The rug, the wallpaper, the paneling, the light fixture, the works. It's really bringing me joy. It's the only finished room in the house so far. 
The kitchen's gonna be number two. Okay, let's go over this. These curtains took me the whole day to hang. We were gonna get someone to come in and do it, but it was too last moment. So I did it myself. I measured every single bracket like six times because I was so paranoid about drilling into this beautiful wallpaper. It came out great. I'm really happy. They have to like hang out for a while and kind of like learn their fold because they, they want to like puff out too much, but they're gonna like slim down a bit and they're just so luscious. I love the play of textures. Thank you, Susanna. We actually met in the parking lot to go over some different options and we ended up on this one because those dimples did not work. They did look like a band-aid. I need to tell you about this wallpaper. I'm fully, fully obsessed with it, especially because it's just enchanting. I love the colors, it reflects the light, and the whole process is really cool. They custom printed it for the room, and you give them dimensions, and the pattern like either shrinks or enlarges, and they print out little individual sections. So if there's a window, they only print out this much of it, and if there's a doorway, little strip, little strip. It's very interesting to hang. I didn't do that. I would have, like, it would be, like, horrible if I did it myself. <laughs> so we left it to an expert. But it all came together, and I'm just, like, I'm fully in love with it. It also removes, so you can just peel it off if you want to use it in a different room that had the exact same size. <laughs> the light fixture, amazing. It was totally not pretty when we installed it because we installed certain sections upside down, and then they were all in little weird rows. So after it's up, you have to go and bend all the little pieces so they have a more organic distribution, but it looks amazing. And let me tell you, the one thing that took forever for us to decide in the room was the trim color. We were thinking about white, gray, blue, and we ended up with this really muted green that picked up on some of these colors over here. And I love it. It is such a like rich, unexpected color. I would have never thought to choose like a, an army green, but it looks perfect in the room. Susanna chose a perfect rug. It has all the colors of the chairs and the table. And it's a little bit lighter and a little bit darker, a little bit modern, so it's not too fussy of a room. But this table is solid marble and pretty big. So it took like a crew of people to help us lift the table, move the base, put the table down, put the rug down, and then put the table back. But then everything was off center, so we had to do it over and over again until it was perfectly centered in the room. Thank you everybody for helping us. This was amazing. I'm putting a link to Susanna's channel, Quintessence, in the description box below. You need to check them out if you love anything interior design. It's so fun to like go into these people's houses and see the choices they make and um, see a space come alive. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.